Hello everyone, here's a question on LCM. The question is to find the LCM of 18 and 17. So we know that there are many ways to find the LCM. One is like listing method, prime factorization method. So in this we'll use a prime factorization method. But before we use this method, I want to explain you one important thing. When you have a two numbers and in that one, two numbers, one number is a prime number. Like in this case, in 18 and 17, 17 is a prime number. Now what we mean by prime number? Prime numbers means those numbers are divisible by uh, 1 and the number itself. Like the, there is no common, there is no factors of that number, only two factors. They have only two factors, one is 1 and the number itself and no other factors. So, in that case, to find the LCM, you multiply both the numbers. The product what you obtain will be the LCM. It's I will explain you why. So, let me first write down the LCM here. Therefore, LCM of 18 and 17 is equals to, it's, it is 18 times 17 which is 306. So, LCM will be 306. But why I am saying this, let me explain you. We have learned about prime factorization, right? We have to do, we have to find the prime factors of these two numbers and at the end we will multiply them. So, 18 and 17. So, we know 18 is an even number. So, it goes into times table. So, we will write 2 here. 2 nines are 18. And since 17 does not go in any, uh, it is not a multiple of any number, so we will write 17 here. It is not divisible by any number, right? So, it is prime number. So, we will go and write 17 in the every step. Uh, next, we have 3. So, next we have 9. It is divisible by 3. So, 3 3s are 9 and again we get 17. Now, again we have 3. 3 1s are 3 and then 17. Now, we have 17. We will take 17 1s are 17. That is it. Now, if you observe here, we got 17, right? And if you multiply this number, 2 3s are 6, 6 3s are 18 and this is this number. So, what we are doing here? We are multiplying 18 and 17. So, instead of doing all this procedure and we know that one number is a prime number, so it is better to multiply these two numbers and that will be the LCM. So, you have to understand this trick. If you find one number or both the numbers to be a prime numbers, the LCM will be the product of those two numbers. I hope this question is clear. If you have further question or doubt, you can drop a comment. Thank you so much for watching.